Ooh, my steel trash can is ready. All right, bars are ready. Sprinklers are sprinkling. Get another two gold bars going. And we can go and collect our trash can. Now, I'm going to go kind of the long way and just maybe hope that my luck has just been terrible so far and that summer actually has a little bit better foraging than I think it does. But I... I'm fairly confident that I'm right that summer is just a crap time to forage. Either way, I need to waste just a little bit of time so that when I go over and collect my garbage can and try to give these two items to Gunther, you know, I can I can actually get into the store to do that. I can't remember if they open at 8 a.m. or 10 a.m., but I know they're not open at 7. Ooh, what's this? Another spice berry, I want to say? I've been thinking more and more that maybe what I should be doing is saving some of these, um, these forageables. But at the same time, I feel like I need money more than I need really anything else. And every forageable that I sell is a little bit less time than I have to spend fishing to make my money. So, I don't know. Don't know what the right answer is. Honestly, it doesn't even seem like there's a wrong answer in this game. It seems like it's just a fun, here's the game, make of it what you will. And I gotta tell you, I'm really enjoying the sandbox aspect of the game. There's a few times that I've been like, okay, well, maybe that was a stupid choice. I'm just kind of thinking to when I upgraded the pickaxe. Didn't realize it would take away my pickaxe for a couple of days, but you know what? It's fine. I'm having a good time. So the goal for today is to end the day with 7,500 or more coins. And then tomorrow, I'm going to upgrade my copper pickaxe into a steel pickaxe. Which, again, granted, feels like it's maybe potentially not the brightest idea to limit myself to not have a pickaxe for a little while, but at the same time, it's currently taking me four swings to break some of those ore. Um, to get gold ore right now, it's taken me four swings, and that just feels like too much. What are the hours here? Oh, I can already go into the museum. Perfect. So we will donate a... whatever this is, some kind of shell. And a seed. Oop, wrong way. And let's check on the blacksmith. Who should have my garbage can? Beautiful. So I now get 30% back. Now that I've received a steel trash can, maybe I can look at the... Okay, so it is gold. It actually does go from steel to gold. Interesting. That was, uh, that was a bit of a curiosity I had before, was... What upgrades steel? Like, I, it seemed like it should be gold, just because of what I had found in the, in the mines. But now we know. Anyway, I'll just do a really quick scavenging pass of stuff here, see if we can find anything, and if I see a fishing area down here, I'm just going to take a quick look, then I'll, I'll just hit that up right now. If I don't, then... no, I don't. Then I'm going to just go ahead and check the other side of the beach. And then we'll get to it. What do you have to say there, bud? If my hair wasn't so popular with the ladies, I swear I'd shave it all off in a second. What does that even mean? I'm taking that to mean he needs the approval of women. And if something that he has doesn't garner the approval of women, he will remove and throw it away with no care whatsoever. Now look. I've shaved my head before. I've had long hair before. I don't really care what I look like. But I gotta tell you, I was a whole lot warmer when I had longer hair. Anyway... <laughs> That should probably be a little obvious. Uh, let's, uh, let's fish over here this time. As I say, the goal for today is to end the day with at least 75... Oh my god. What are... What the hell? It has like a wound on its head. What did I just see? So... I didn't even mean to fish that direction. Um, the little minigame fish looked different that time. It had like a... Like a bump on its head or something. 
I wonder if that was like a special catch that I missed. I mean, there was no bloody way I was going to be able to do that, but... Man. Just the other in-game day, I was saying fishing has gotten to a point where it's its not that it's easy. But its uh, it's gone from like frustrating to pretty fun. I'm actually going to fish this way just because I feel like it. Uh, but whatever that was, I, uh, I don't know how anyone would catch that. It must get a little easier. Maybe if I get the Iridium Rod, maybe if I level it up more. I think there's a level up screen somewhere here. I'm just going to, once I catch whatever I'm going to catch here, or potentially don't, depending on what it is, I'm going to have a quick peek at what my fishing level is, because I think it might show me what the potential maximum is. Where is it here? Skills. Yeah, so I'm at 7 out of 10 on fishing so far, which... I mean... You'd think at 7 out of 10 I'd be able to catch things in the summertime, but whatever that was, I just... I don't know. I'm anxious to try, and, uh, try to catch it again. Oh, here it is again. Oh. And, oh my god, it's so fast. It did better this time, at least. What am I even supposed to do with that? Like, it's just at the top, at the bottom, at the top, at the bottom, at the top, at the bottom. Do I just pick an area and just stay there? Like... Good lord. Whatever that thing was... It had, like, a bump on its head, too, on the little fishing minigame. I don't even know. I'd see no way that I could possibly catch that. But I swear tomorrow I'm going to buy that Iridium Rod and we're going to try it out. I want to catch whatever this is. I just, I need to know. Oh. You know what I never actually looked at? There was a crafting recipe that I unlocked that said something interesting. It was like a treasure magnet or something, or a treasure... This is it. Treasure Hunter Fishing Tackle. Fish don't escape while collecting treasures. Also slightly increases the chance to find treasure. Oh. I could make a... Oh, why have I not done this yet? Okay, so... What else have we got? Have we just got those two for fishing lures? Now we got a trap bobber. Causes fish to escape slower when you aren't reeling them in. Mm, that sounds like the best option. So we got the bite rate. Uh, do I want a bigger fishing bar or do I want fish to escape slower? I feel like I want a bigger fishing bar. I'm going to make the cork bobber. I can't imagine why I'm, I'm just... Feeling like I'm kind of drawn to the name of it a little bit. Something about it just speaks to me. Oh, I got tricked by the little bloop sound. <laughs> Oh god, there it is again. Oh, I thought it was going to go down again. I didn't hold it down. I let it sort of bounce off the top. All right, well, that confirms something, actually. It's currently 5 p.m. in-game time, and I did hook whatever the hell that was. So it's not a time of day thing. I 
mean, you found a lost book, the right... Oh, it automatically put it into the library for me. That's cool. When I messed over it for a second there, I was thinking, if this has a description... I've probably already given it to Gunther, but I forgot there was the whole lost books thing. Oh, score. Okay, so... It's a little late in the day to do this, I know. This is probably a mistake, but it's not that much money to waste. So, I'm gonna eat the trout soup, since I just watched this spawn. And I'm gonna fish right in here. That gives me one more fishing level, and it gives me way faster catch time. Whoa! Faster uh, time to hook the fish anyways, maybe not catch them. Oh, didn't hit it. So about halfway up the bar is what I'm looking for. Feeling pretty... Oh my god, I caught two fish and it disappeared. Are you serious right now, game? How? That's some BS. I'm I'm looking around. I need to I need to see if that like that's 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 not fair. That's not okay. <laughs> like I I just it just spawned. What is happening over here? I came for the sound of the ocean. Beautiful, isn't it? I'm Oh, he's painting or drawing or something. Okay, I thought he was, like, blowing out candles on a birthday cake or something. Alright, I'm gonna just take a quick run around here and see if there's any other fishing spots that are up. Because that, I feel completely stolen from on that one. I feel ripped off. No, nothing. Alright. That's how it's gonna be, a eh? Stardew Valley. Gonna trick me into using my trout soup. I see how it is. Ah, well. 149 energy left. Might as well use as much as I can before nighttime. You ever go fishing and all of a sudden all the fish stop biting? And then you see, like, a really big fish jump sort of near where you've been fishing and have been having success in the past. Maybe that's what's happened. Maybe there's a just a monster-sized fish here now. Oh, come on. Quit! <laughs> You're doing this to me. Okay. Come on. Please let me catch this. This feels different than the puffer fish from before. Oh my god, it keeps tricking me. I don't even want to say anything. Please? Oh, what is it? Super cucumber. What the hell is that? <laughs> I, I got a sea cucumber? A rare purple variety of sea cucumber. Yeah, you're not getting sold. I don't know what the hell that is, but... Yeah, you're, you're, you're going in my chest of things that I'm probably not going to sell. That's for damn sure. You know, we'll try our luck with the chest. Or not, because I missed it completely. And now I've missed the fish because of it. God damn it. For some reason I thought it would keep the, uh, the progress that I had on it, but it didn't. Well, uh, that was exciting. It's 10 p.m. and I've got 50 energy left. I, I mean, the trout soup is already over. And I seem to just be getting garbage after garbage after garbage. So this is going to be my last catch. So this is going to be my last catch. Can you please just let me end on an actual fish game? This is seriously the last one, no matter what it is. Alright. 
So yeah, we um, cut a sea cucumber, which put up more of a fight than an actual fish, which... Look, I'm not saying that it has to be true to life or anything like that. I'm not trying to make that kind of a case, but how did a cucumber just fight harder than an actual fish? I, mean, I think we've all seen those videos of what happens when a sea cucumber, you know, needs to escape or defend itself or whatever, but uh, I can't imagine that being overly hard to land with a fishing rod. Oh well, let's sell some of the stuff that we've got in our inventory, make sure that we don't sell the sea cucumber, and go to bed, because it looks like it's about the end of the day. So, this can all go. Really hopeful that we have enough money. And since I've got a second, I'll put two more gold bars in. All right. End of day nine. Can I get to my... What is this? Why is there a... Okay, I guess I maybe I didn't notice there's a question mark there before, but whatever. All right, score. We got 4,000 coins. That should be more than enough to be able to buy the new fishing rod. And I just, I have to know what that damn fish is. So what do we got? Fortune teller. Tell me my fortune. They're in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. And there's a Queen of Sauce rerun that I don't need to watch. I'll keep on smelting. And what do you have to say? Dear Cork, tomorrow we're all gathering at the beach for the annual Pelican Town Luau. The highlight of the event is the communal potluck. Make sure you bring something good to contribute. The governor himself is attending the event, so make sure you're on your best behavior come between 9 and 2. Have I got anything good to contribute? Have I got any food? I mean, I could have maybe brought that strange bun, but... I, I didn't, so here we are. Uh, yeah, no, I, I guess not. I haven't quite figured out cooking yet, not gonna lie. So maybe I'll bring a crystal fruit. We'll see. Can I harvest these yet? No, I cannot. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just going straight for the beach today. I'm gonna grab anything that I can along the way like these grapes, but I am pretty much... Just going straight for the beach. What we got here? Oh, another book. Alright. And I'm digging books out of the ground, I'm fishing them out of the ocean. What, what kind of library is this? What happened? Was there an explosion or something? Like, come on. All right, nice rainy day. Let's head on down to the ocean. Do a quick little scavenging run around this area here. See if there's anything that I can pick up and sell. Looks like there's uh, what is that? Oyster. Nothing moister than an oyster in the rain. Wetter than an otter's pocket. All right, we got a clam up here. Got a, just a dude standing here for some reason. I've got this old amulet to sell, but something tells me you're not ready for it. He's said that to me a couple of times now, and I'm a little creeped out that he's just hanging out there with an amulet to sell, but he also doesn't want to sell his amulet. Seems like a strange fellow. Anywho, let's uh, head over to here so that we can see when Willie opens up his shop. And get to fishing with our last couple of catches on our fiberglass rod. It looks like it wouldn't be a bad idea to buy a little bit more bait soon. Do you, do you open at 9? Really? I mean, you just went in there, so... I guess. Yeah, alright. How you doing, Willie? 
right and early today, I'd like to buy something for... Oh, I can just buy the cork bobber. Okay. I'd like to buy the iridium rod, please. And I apparently can't sell back my old one, so... Huh. Can I... How do I... Is it shift click, maybe? Control click, alt click, right click, right click. There we go. And let's see... So we got a lead bobber, adds weight to your fishing bar, preventing it from bouncing on the bottom. Oh, that might actually have been useful up until this point, but... Uh, mm, I'm going to go with the cork bobber for right now. Now let's, uh, let's spend pretty much all the rest of our money on bait, I suppose. Can I, yeah, shift click is more. All right. So we got 166 bait. We have a cork bobber. It's raining, and we're fishing in the ocean. Let's see how we do today. I gotta recoup my $7,500 investment into this rod, and that does seem noticeably bigger. Honestly, that's that feels pretty good. I feel like I've, uh, you know, I feel like that episode of that '70s show where Kelso and uh, and Red Foreman decide to shrink the paddles in Pong. I feel kind of like the opposite of that, where they take the Pong machine apart and try to adjust the size of the paddles. So, let's see how long it takes us to hook something interesting, shall we? Dressed spinner. This metal tab and colorful streamers create an enticing spectacle for fish, increasing the bite rate while fishing. I mean... Sure? I just swap that out for the... What? What is that? Is that part of it? Does it have a durability? What the... Alright. Let's see if it's noticeable. I wonder if bite rate just means that I have less time to wait before the bobber does that. Or if it actually means, like, a higher chance of fish versus garbage. Either way, I feel like I caught something that I don't actually have access to otherwise, so probably worth using. I'm gonna hang on to the cork bobber though, just because I'm a little undecided on that. Actually, what I'm gonna do after this catch right here is I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna see if I can sell both of these types of bobber to, or like the bobber and the spinner to Willy. Because that might give me some kind of indication about like value. I don't know. Let's see. Oh god, they actually do have a durability. <laughs> okay, so this one's apparently way more valuable. Um, but the cork bobber is almost used up, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use up the cork bobber, I guess, until it's disintegrated entirely. That does definitely seem to be a durability bar on them. And when I've fully used up the cork bobber, then I'll switch back to the dressed bobber or dressed spinner. Sorry. Oh. 
Damn it. Keep getting tricked by that sound. Alright, so our goal for tomorrow, which I don't know that I'm going to be able to hit, is to have 5,000 coins in order to upgrade the pickaxe into a steel pickaxe. And I, I just don't know if that's going to be doable. I'm going to try, and I'll, I'll sell everything that isn't nailed down if I have to, but if it's one extra day, it's one extra day. It's not the end of the world. I don't feel like I've caught enough fish today to really expect to make 5,000 coins from this. Your fishing tackle has worn out. Alright. So now the real question is, do I just have a worn out cork bobber on my, on my fishing rod, or does it completely disintegrate and just, like, stop existing? Because it's... I'm noticing pretty obviously that the green bar has gotten smaller. This thing is tough. I think this is a puffer fish. Although it might have been another one of those sea cucumbers. I... Uh, oh, I don't even have fishing bait on this thing. No wonder it's taken so damn long. So now with fishing bait and a tackle, it speeds things up. How do we do? About the same. Oh, but I think we've found another one of the same things. Same fish. Come on. Oh. All right, what is it? All right, we got another super cucumber. And it's even gold starred. You know, I do have one of them already in the chest. I'm going to keep the gold starred one and sell whatever I've got in the chest. I'm not sure if it's gold starred or not, but I want to have one gold starred purple sea cucumber thing. And, uh, let's see here. What gives me a lot of energy? I mean, I could probably just eat some of these salmon berries real quick. It's only 8 p.m. right now is the thing. If I had trout soup, I would totally use it right now. But I don't, so I'll use three salmon berries and continue to fish. Because I really do want to be able to get the, um, the steel pickaxe going tomorrow, if possible. And I have absolutely no idea what the super cucumber is worth, but maybe, I mean, maybe it'll be 5k on its own, who knows. But either way, this should give me an opportunity, at least, to get a little bit more money. I'm currently catching garbage. There we go. Perfect catch. Beauty. Let's head on back to the farm, get a good night's rest, and see what tomorrow brings. Maybe we'll be able to afford the, the pickaxe, uh, pickaxe upgrade, excuse me, maybe we won't. Time's gonna tell. First things first, let's go ahead and make sure that we've got oops, another two gold bars going.
and I'm gonna check on. Yeah, it's it's also a gold star. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna find out what a gold star uh, super cucumber is actually worth here tomorrow. And I didn't mean to sell those, but eh, whatever they can go. All right. Thus concludes day 10. Ooh, fishing level 8. Another rod proficiency. I can craft something called a worm bin. I can now craft the dressed spinner and a barbed hook. I'm going to have to look at that. Come on. Yes! 5,000 coins. Almost 6. All right, that's actually really, really exciting. That means that we've got enough money to do what we wanted to do. And I do want to take a quick peek at that new crafting recipe for the barbed hooks. I want to know what that does. Makes your catch more secure, causing the fishing bar to cling to your catch. Huh? Probably going to craft that eventually, but not really sure what it's going to do. Worm bin. What is this? Automatically creates bait. So 25 hardwood... One golden iron and 50 fiber. If I have that, I'll make it right now. Um, hardwood, hardwood, hardwood. Here, maybe? <laughs> Not even close. Okay. Not really top of my priority then. So I want, I believe, five of these. Uh... That should be good. Can't harvest these yet. Feeling like that might have been a bit of a mistake to invest so heavily into that. I don't even remember what I planted, if I'm being 100% honest with you. I think it was melons? Maybe? I don't know. I. <laughs> it's there, it's getting watered with the sprinklers, it is beyond the scope of my care. Oh, I forgot to check the TV today. Oh well. So, uh, in the spirit of checking up on Blacksmith, I think what I might do is just go fishing in the river beside here today. I'm fairly sure you get different fish in different areas. It's 7 a.m., waking up in the morning. Good luck getting that song out of your head now. It is Thursday, though, so I don't really know why I made that reference. Let's see what we can get. Okay, this is an annoying fish, I'll give it that much. Come on, come on. And it's a pike. Never caught a pike. Heard they're a really hard fighting fish though. Good sport fish. For those that are inter interested in that. It's 8 a.m. I th think that's probably going to be when this guy opens shop. Let's see. It is... It's locked. Why is it locked? I'll come back. That's fine. go. Looks like there's going to be another pike the way that it's kind of rattling up and down. Let's see if I'm right. Oh uh, yeah. 41 inch pike. New record. I wonder where it shows my records for that. Because I'm not actually sure. Oh crap, I forgot the luau was today. That's probably why this guy's shop is closed. 
Uh, I brought grapes. Grapes are f exotic food, right? Right? That's probably fine. Let's see. What, let's see what's going on here. How you doing, magician? What are you? Governor. Sorry. What a lovely occasion. It's always a joy to visit Stardew Valley. Look sharp. The governor is here for his annual visit. If you brought something for the potluck, make sure to add it to the soup cauldron. The soup cauldron. Okay. I guess that's the enormous pot of stew here. I bring you delicious pike. That seems like it'd be better than grapes for a soup, to be honest. These blasted sand flies keep landing on the food! You wanted to have it at the beach. <laughs> Free buffet. One of the perks of living here. Enjoy it, kid. If you brought something for the soup, climb the stairs. Can I put in multiple things? Mm -mm. No, I cannot. I put fresh vegetables from my garden in the communal soup pot. I woke up late, stepped out the door, and found myself in the middle of all this hubbub. You and me both, Elliot. How's the farming coming along? Oh yeah, I have a farm, don't I? Sorry, I've just been fishing. It must be a busy season for you. Yeah, those sprinklers really are hard to... observe. I'll be back here by the trees. Here is a lot cooler. Governor. Who cares? We do this festival every year to give the governor a taste of everything the valley has to offer. How you doing, Caveman Linus? A slow, continuous rotation is the key to achieving a perfect roast. He's not wrong. Whatever Linus is roasting smells awfully good. Slurp. Are you drinking, or did you just drool all over yourself? Good thing I came with sunscreen! I'm full, but... What else to do is there beside eat? Wentz is truly a man after my heart. I hope the soup is good this year. We'll see if my pike ruined it. <laughs> One year Sam put a pound of anchovies in the potluck soup. Yeah, uh, okay. It's tiring to socialize with everyone. I'd rather watch the sea. He's gonna see if Willie's hanging out here fishing. He is. I knew it. How you doing, Willie? Hi there, Cork. Taking a breather? Is that it? To tell you the truth, I'd rather be fishing right now. You and me both, Willie. You and me both. I would dance, but I don't want to get all sweaty. I'm bored. Vincent isn't a good dancer. She is unresponsive. <laughs> She's catatonic. Oh, uh, sorry. <clears throat> Ow, you stepped on my foot, dear. This is tiring, honey. Are you ready to visit the buffet soon? Aunt. What are you? Oh, that's the old angry guy. Ah, the smell of the ocean takes me back many years. Long before you were born. That music! It's too loud! Can't I have a little peace and quiet? Enjoy the ocean? I bet you roll into it there, bud. I mean, eh, to be honest, he's probably right. Anyway, what do you have to say, Shane, who's usually a dick? Oh, you don't get hot pepper chutney like this in the big city. Okay, I might have spoke too soon about Shane that time. I must speak to the missus about purchasing a vacation home here. Should we move forward with the lao? The governor seems a little hungry. Yeah, I want to know if I ruined the soup. <laughs> nice bowl of pike stew. That actually sounds pretty good, to be honest. Hey folks, it's time once again for the potluck ceremony. I trust that you all put high quality ingredients in the pot this year. We don't want the, the governor to regret his visit to the valley. It does look like a heap of trash and sand, to be honest. Well, governor, would you do us the honor of tasting the soup? I'm on the edge of my seat. Of course, I've been looking forward to this all year. Oh no, he's allergic to pike. Oh, he went in for a second bite. Oh, he's, he's making a happy face. Ah, that's a very pleasant soup. The produce from this valley never disappoints. Mmm, tasty. You all did very well today. Now, who else wants some soup? 
Luau was a success. Good thing I brought something tasty for the soup. Time to head home. I mean, I feel a little ripped off that it's now 10 p.m. and I have all of my energy and the day is over, but at least the luau was a success. Oops. I mean, if I'm going to stand here anyway, I might as well do that. And I i mean, I did get some stuff to sell, I, I guess. All right, let's, uh, let's go to bed. Can I watch TV? What was my fortune today? Okay, well, the spirits had been in good humor, but eh, whatever. As long as the luau was a success. All right, we made an extra little bit of pocket change there, 628 coins. It's now day 12 of summer. <laughs>